Hi everybody, my name is Neda. And my name is Nilu. And today we want to share a craft with you for Noru's. Um, the story of this craft is at the beginning of the corona uh, coronavirus pandemic, um, it was really hard to get to the grocery store. Yeah. You know, a lot of stores were closed and it wasn't safe. Um, and so we came up with a way to have a beautiful half scene for Noru's um, and we didn't have to go to the store to get these objects Yeah, because we could just make them at home with cardboard. Yeah. Um, so we didn't need to get anything like the flowers or anything like that. Things that we can kind of get now, right? Yeah. So we thought this is still a fun activity to do because some of the objects that go on the half scene can be tricky to find. Yeah. Not all grocery stores have them. So uh -huh. this is something fun that we can do during coronavirus or even after coronavirus, right? Yeah. So do you want to show them the stuff we've made with cardboard? Yeah. This was just done with cardboard and with markers. Yes, please. So we have the apple. We would say Sib in Persian or Farsi. Great. We have the flowers, which we just talked about. <laughs> yes. These are uh, Sombol, hyacinth flowers. We have the garlic. Mm -hmm. The garlic, sear. This is coins, Seke. Here's our glass of vinegar. And here's Second. a goldfish. Nice. So that's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we drew a bowl of goldfish. What else do we have? We have... Senjed. Senjed. Here's the Samanu. Here's the... Somal or sumac. It's a really tart um, spice. Sabze. Mirror. <laughs> yes. Um, it's traditional to put a mirror on the half scene. So we drew a mirror out of cardboard and cut this out. And one of my favorites, the Nuno Hochi. The Nuno Hochi cookie. Very good, Nilu. We always put that on a beautiful tray on our half scene. I love it. <laughs> what else do we have? It makes me hungry. <laughs> and we also have the egg. Excellent. So colored eggs is yeah. something really typical on the half scene. And in fact, uh, in a couple seconds, Nilu's going to show you how to make your own egg and different ways that you can choose to decorate it. Do you want to show the last few things that are special? Yeah, they, we just, we just we put just them put on, the, them. on the half scene. Not every family has to do this, but these are our special things. Okay, what else do we have? We have the, we have candy. Candy. Because Nora's a sweet, so we put candy on there. What else we is there? Have, and because it says "I love you," mm -hmm. it's just backwards on the candy. I love you. Very good. We have a present. Mm hmm. For Noru, a present, we could call it AD. It's like a mm -hmm. New Year's gift. Usually older people give it to younger people. And then we have a heart. <laughs> because of all the love we have, yeah. right, during Noru. So that some of those are like just little personal objects yeah. that we put on our table. So Nilu's gonna take you through the steps of making the egg. The egg. And while Nilu does that, I will be over here Adding a little bit of color. To yeah, a little bit stuff. of wow factor, right? So, so also... then we really make it sparkle. Exactly. So what I'm going to be doing before I hand it over to Nilu is really simple, right? I'm going to take the sewing bowl that we made. And what I'm going to do is I've poured some glue into a little cup. That's we, sometimes we easier to work like with. That. Yeah, and I have a paintbrush. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some glue to this flower pot and then I'm gonna sprinkle some glitter on it just to make it a little bit more special, yeah. I think. And Nilu had the good idea that we also have beads to use. We have some beads. So I was thinking maybe I'll put one little purple bead 
in the center of each of these flowers. That sounds good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be hard at work over here while you... Oh, okay, so then you just pointed out that in our <laughs> beads, we do also have some butterfly-shaped beads, so I could put butterflies beside my flower. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to you now. Do you wanna talk us through how you make an egg? Yeah. Okay, go so ahead. So you need, what you need is cardboard. You can use a cereal box like what I have right here. I got I got a Gorilla Munch cereal box. At, or you can use a cardboard box just lying around in your house. You can use whatever kind of cardboard you want. So you, you'll take your cardboard and then on, if you're using a cereal box, then you then you'll use the side over here, the blank side. Flip that over. So then it's like this. Take a pencil or pen. Pen, it's optional, but I but I suggest to use a pencil so then you can erase it and like make some like make adjustments to make it. Make adjustments, really good. So. So what shape is an egg? An egg sort of like a sphere shape, but sort of like a little bit like... It's a little bit narrow at top. It's fatter on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So you'll just draw that with your pencil. And you'll notice Nilu is working on a baking sheet. That's a trick that we do to make cleanup really easy. Uh -huh. Right? We always do our projects either on a baking yeah. sheet or like a old tablecloth or an old yeah, sheet. Yeah, or a blanket. Or yeah, blanket. like an old bed sheet. Okay. So then you'll have your trace of an egg. And then use your scissors to cut that egg out. while you're cutting, how do you get inspired with your art? You do lots of art projects. Well, I sort of just think of things that I learned from like other people and then I just sort of mix those things together to make something cool and new. And also sometimes I just be creative and Make stuff that I don't know what I'm making. Mm -hmm. That's true. Sometimes you just start with a feeling or a yeah. vibe and then you make stuff. Yeah, so uh, sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> it is pretty weird. Okay, how'd your edge turn out? Really good. Oh, perfect shape. Really good. Nice freehand drawing. Okay, what's your next step to make this special egg? Your next step to make the egg is take your markers. I have a... Um, 100 pack of Crayola markers, and then you'll just pick any color you want. I pick purple. And you can make a design on your egg or just color it in. Mm -hmm. You can make anything on your egg. And you don't just need to use one color. You can use as much as you want. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Nilu, what would you say is your favorite thing about Noru's? Um, maybe the celebrating part where we just have fun. <laughs> I like that part. I, I like having part. fun too, yeah. I just like having fun. Yeah, that part is fun. Just being together and having fun. Yeah. I think my favorite part... And like having family time together. <laughs> That's my favorite part too. And I think my favorite part is even like setting up the half scene with yeah, you that, every year. That's also really fun too. Mm -hmm. Just because it's a time for us to be artistic and creative. Yeah. And that is sort of what we're doing today right now. That's true. So what kind of a design did you decide to work on? I decided to work on like a stripe design. Mm hmm. That's super cool. With my two favorite colors, purple and pink. Okay.
I'm not sure how last year we had the idea to use tape. And then I think it was just plain masking tape. Yeah, that so, was just plain masking tape and then I colored it. Mm -hmm. Which was really cool. Yeah. But I didn't have these markers then. So. <laughs> yeah, I think at the beginning of the pandemic, we didn't have quite as much of all the beads in the glitter yeah, it, that we have now. all that stuff. <laughs> we just got, we just get like more and more supplies every time because every time we have to do another project, we have to get something new, so. Yeah, and I think that we're just spending a lot more time coming up with ways to have fun inside, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be ready to show my like extra beautiful sombol in maybe one minute. How's your egg coming along? Pretty good. Great. I think it'll be really fun for people to just be inspired and do whatever they feel like doing while they watch our video, right? Yeah. It might come up with some ideas for themselves. Okay, here's my sombo. If you remember before, it was just made out of markers oh, and cardboard, right? But now I've added some glitter here to the flower pot and then some beads to give it a little bit of a wow factor yeah. <laughs> for the flowers. <laughs> Okay, so once you're done with the markers, what do you think you're going to do after that? I'm probably going to put some of this tape on. I have different kinds of tape, and this part is, this part's optional if you want to put tape on yours or just leave it how it is. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put tape on mine. I described how somal is a spice, right? So I'm looking through our glitters right now to see if I have, any, have anything that is a similar color or shape to that spice, which is sort of like a very small dot that's kind of a purplish, burgundy-ish color. And I'm using this, this pink, this pinky purple glittery tape and cutting little strips out of it and then putting mm -hmm. it on my egg. Good idea. And also, that other egg, that was before I also had this tape. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the new um, art supplies that live at your house now. Well, it's not really new, but yeah. Okay. Not that new. Let's add a little wow factor to our small. There we go. I had red glitter. That was close enough. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm finished my egg. It looks so good. I really like that you have two different kinds of stripes. You have up and yeah. down stripes and then side. Side to side stripes. Okay, let me get the beads closer to you. And the glitter. So now, this part's also optional on this, so you can decorate yours or just leave it how it is. Mm -hmm. What do you think you're gonna do? I'm probably going to decorate it a bit. Okay, go for it. <laughs> I like okay, this design. I all the glitter. Okay, so you did a kind of swirl pattern? Yeah. Is it okay if I use my finger to? Perfect. But I'm okay with using all that glitter because I still have a lot more left. So your egg's not quite dry, but should we yeah. hold it up to the camera so people can see more closely? Okay. Here's... Mine is an explosion of color. Yes, it is. <laughs> we've got the original marker, then you went over it with tape, and then we've added beads, glitter, and really the sky's the limit. You could do anything you yeah. wanted with these. Yeah. So we hope that this helps you think of ways to make this a uh, special holiday, even if we can't celebrate it in the most traditional ways that we're used to. We can still have it really be fun. And yeah. what's cool about the cardboard is you can 
just pack it away. Like we've had ours. Yeah, we've just had ours packed in a Ziploc since 2020. <laughs> um, and you can keep them as a keepsake and they'll be wonderful memories about the art that you did together, right? Yeah. So happy Noru's. Bye. Noru's Piru's, Noru's Atan Mubarak. Uh, we wish for you a really healthy, happy, and prosperous new year. See you later.